In this project, I'm using PyTorch to explore a bidirectional RNN, and I'm looking at 20 runs out of a project of over 800. I can see the accuracy and loss over time here in my workspace. I can also see an interesting correlation between hidden size and accuracy. The higher the hidden size, the higher the accuracy. I can zoom in on some of the details of these runs that are above 98% to see if this effect holds at higher granularity. As I notice interesting things about my experiments and results, I can easily create a report to take notes and save these visualizations and insights so that I can refer to them later. As I create a report, I get a copy of my runs in these beautiful charts. I can edit the title and add a description here to remind myself of what I am tracking in the report. In each section, I can edit text and add markdown and images. I can also write LaTeX, which gets nicely rendered and is useful for equations. I can move around these run panels, I can resize, and of course I can also delete. This is very useful to fully customize how I see and share my results. Another cool feature is that I can simply duplicate the panel grid to keep the visual layout, but change how I organize my runs, say group by a different hyperparameter. I can start taking notes here on a new experiment, and one thing I can do is simply clone these run sets. I can add a group by hidden size to see if the effect I observed holds on average over all 300 runs. First, I need to visualize all and remove those accuracy limits that we set earlier. Now, you can see the runs grouped by hidden size, where just one line represents all the runs with a given hidden size. The effect is still holding strong. I can clone this run set again, and here I can group by batch size instead, for example. Now I deselect that previous set, and if I move around this column, I can see that batch size has an inverse relationship with accuracy, which is interesting. I can also rename these run sets for future reference. Once I'm happy with this report, I can save it and share it. There's one more trick, which is that by default these reports are live dashboards, so any new experiment runs in my project will actually show up in this chart. If I don't want that, I can add a filter based on date created, which will default to the current time. While this filter is enabled, the support will be static, and no new runs will be added until I'm ready to edit with my new notes and experiments. This is my report on the Safe Life Benchmark, exploring safety in reinforcement learning agents, which are learning several tasks in a game-playing environment. There are three types of tasks. Append, in which an agent places markers in a blue goal state. Prune, in which an agent removes red markers. And Navigate, in which an agent tries to find the exit of a maze. While doing all of these tasks, an agent needs to avoid all side effects, which means not changing the environment too much, and not disturbing these moving Conway's Game of Life patterns. In this report, I talk about how to get started with the benchmark and describe the key metrics that we're tracking, like the proportion of success, the reward attained, the number of steps required to complete a level, and, of course, the side effects, which we want to minimize for a safer agent. Here I log the score over time and the side effects during training, and I group my runs by task type so that I can compare all three tasks on the same set of charts or focus on a single task. If I want to edit this report, I simply click the Edit button. I can make a copy of a section so that I can use the same layout and configuration, but focus on a different metric. Here, I click Duplicate, and then I can change the metric shown by editing the panel. Let's say I want to show reward over time during training instead. You'll notice that my y-axis range might need to change for this metric, and then I click OK. I can do the same thing for this chart. I want to see the length instead, the number of steps to complete a level. Again, I change the y-axis range, and now I have these new metrics, and I still have the nice effect where I can show all three tasks. Let's add a title to say this is where we track reward over time. Now that I'm happy with my report, I can click Save, and then I'd like to share it with my colleague Carrie. I can send her a link to a particular section just like this, or I can make a comment on a specific panel. Let's say I want to show her this new reward panel. I can tag that panel specifically and write, what do you think of these results, and mention her by name. When I click comment, I'll see that it's marked on this panel. Now, Carrie will get an email notification, and let's see what she says. Thanks, Stacy. I can open the email to see the report itself and where she left the comment. I can reply inline, or I can edit the report myself because I'm a collaborator on the team. And finally, I can clone this report to use as a template. That's all. You're an expert on reports now. Give them a try and let us know what you think. <laughs>